welcome to my house. Let's go on inside. Well, this is it. This is my home. Bright and cheery. Do I enjoy life? A couple paintings up here that I've done in the past. There's actually one there that I've done with my dog, Hailey. That's her uh, paw prints, and the black paw is her, her own personal signature. These are a couple sculptures that I've done in the past. When I apply the paint to the tires of my chair, I do use the brushes and I stir up all the paint. So rather than just letting those go to waste, I decided I was going to make sculptures. And here's what comes out. Just a little bit about myself. You know, I, I grew up surfing, skating, motocross biking. A little over 24 years ago, I had a mountain bike accident where I broke my neck, became quadriplegic with a spinal cord injury. It was at that point they were trying to teach me how to get back into life, and they knew that I loved art. It was my dream as a child to become an artist. They were trying to teach me how to paint with a mouse stick, but it was just too restraining for me. And it wasn't fluid enough for me to continue that way. But as my dreams were thought to be stolen and taken away at that point, and I just knew God was not going to give up on me, and I wasn't going to give up on God, and we were going to be able to somehow get back to painting and expressing my way of art. It took quite a few years, but through my first service dog, Weaver, who I uh, got two years after my injury, as he started to get older, I wanted to do something that would bring back an, uh, a beautiful memory of he and I, other than just a photograph. So I decided I was going to roll through paint one day, have the dog walk through that paint, so I'd see tire tracks and paw prints. It was through that process that I realized, hey, wait a minute, I can use my chair to paint with. I can do it, and I can develop a style of painting with the tires of my chair, that could create masterpieces and just really allow me to express who I am as an artist and bring that joy. So I started painting on a daily basis. So you know, to be doing something that you want to do as a child is a, is a gift. It's a, a true gift. Here's my backyard. You can see I love nature. It, it, it motivates me. It gets me creative. I've got a waterfall here. Just the sound of the water brings the different animals to the backyard, whether it's, you know, some beautiful butterflies, dragonflies, the squirrels that run across the little squirrel track I put up on the fence there a couple years ago. Line that up with peanuts in the morning, they just come out and have a good time. But this is where I start my day. Start with a little prayer meditation. Just remembering, you know, what a blessed life I have and what a gift life is, you know. We're all given one life and I want to live it to the fullest. All right, let's go around to the studio. Studio is where I do all my paintings, but some are real minimal, you know, like my painting called Moment. Real minimal, a couple of colors, and I just really let the canvases speak to me and let me know when they're done. There's a little more technique involved than most people would, would think. You know, they're thinking I'm just rolling over campus and hopefully something's going to come out. You know, to strategically be able to do a little pattern like that or stars, whatever they are, takes a little more than most people would believe. And you're dancing, dancing on air basically, trying to get onto that canvas and off that canvas without dragging paint, getting the tire to spin forward and rotate backwards, keeping itself in its own axis. Today I'm going to start this big canvas here for you. This will be about eight feet by eight feet. Show some fluid motion and just really, really show one of my greatest emotions, which is joy. And uh, bring that out through the canvas here. You know, the use of the tires and chair, I, I can do that. My brushes is my chair. This is what I'm using. But I feel that fluid motion. It's the time I feel most free is in this chair is when I'm moving across that canvas. I like the way the strokes went up top here. I like the way they went that way. Off the canvas, back on. I like the section of green, my favorite color left over there, thick. We'll let this one dry up, see what it speaks to me. It could be done. It could be done. I'm liking this one. <laughs> 